A major day in the second Southside explosion trial in Fort Wayne. Star witness Montserrati Shirley takes the stand, and she's pointing fingers in court, telling jurors specifics about Bob Leonard's role in the plot to destroy her house. Call 6 investigates Rafael Sanchez is live in Fort Wayne with the very latest today. Rafael. Uh, behind me, as you can see, the prosecution team now leaving the Allen County Courthouse. It has been quite a day here in Fort Wayne. The only thing colder in the city were the stairs from Bob Leonard to Montserrat Shirley, the woman pointing the finger at him. Montserrat Shirley told the jury her then boyfriend, Mark Ray Leonard, invited his brother to her home on November the 1st, 2012. She says it was the first time they had ever met. Shirley testified that Bob spared no time in asking her, where in the world did you meet this man? And you don't know who you are dealing with. Bob apparently asked Mark, does she know what's going to happen? Shirley says that Mark told him, she's with us. Monserrati says that Bob was brought in to set her home on fire to collect on her $300,000 insurance policy. He was not involved in the first attempt, which failed. Shirley also mentioned that Mark told her that Bob will do anything I ask him to do. The plan was to pay him $10,000. He never got a penny. Uh, back live here inside the Allen County Courthouse, Monserrati Shirley spent about seven hours on the stand. There was a one-hour lunch break. Now, the defense team for... For Bob Leonard Jr., of course, was trying to uh, create doubt with the jury. As you know, uh, this verdict has to be unanimous. It only takes one juror to derail the entire thing. So the defense team was really hoping to create some doubt by uh, showing the jury some of the claims that Montserrat Shirley has made over the past couple of years. For example, claim number one, that she told her insurance company that there was a Picasso painting inside her home. Uh, that was not true. In fact, what it turned out to be was that Montserrat Shirley bought a print of a Picasso at a local museum while making a, while on a tour with her daughter. A claim number two that her live-in boyfriend at the time, Mark Ray Leonard, had $25,000 in cash inside the home. There is no evidence of that. And the other claim that she never stepped forward because she says she was scared that Mark Ray Leonard at one point told her that he would cut her up into pieces and that no one would ever find her. Coming up at 6 o'clock at the top of the hour, a father's special dream and what it means to this case. We're live in Fort Wayne inside the Allen County Courthouse. Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Summer